The DVX200 has a function that lets you point out right on the screen exactly where you want the camera to focus and or expose the image. And this can come in pretty handy for using autofocus because, you know, a lot of times people ask, how big is the area that the camera autofocuses on or what area of the screen does the camera choose to expose to? Well, in the DVX200, you can tell exactly where that is. What you do is you assign area to one of the user buttons and then press that button. And that brings up this rectangle. And just by pressing on the touch screen, wherever you want it to go, that tells the camera focus here or expose here or do both focus and expose. There are actually three different functions that you can choose from. You can tell it to focus, you can tell it to expose, and you can tell it to report the brightness level of what's within that box. So a simple example, if you are shooting in a slightly challenging environment, maybe you've got an interview set up and there's a very bright window behind the subject. What's the camera gonna expose to? What's it gonna focus on? Probably what's in the center of the screen and that may not be representative of what you wanted. So we turn on the area function, press it on the person's face and it will expose and focus there instead. Now you're not just limited to telling it that area, you can also change the size of the box. If you use the menu wheel and rotate it up or down, it'll let you choose between three different sizes. So you can have it choose a broad area to sample or a very small area to sample. So using this area mode, you can take a little bit more control over the camera and tell it exactly what you want and focus on the area that's important to you in your composition. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos in this series for even more tips and tricks on how to use your DVX200. Panasonic.